let's talk about getting started on this project and also discuss some important features of the way the project was designed. So first off, this is a solo project. This is not something you should work on with a partner. This is not something you should work on with a group of friends where you're in lockstep doing every little piece together. This is a solo project and so all the work is supposed to be yours. Now it's not to say that you have to not talk to anybody. You're allowed to talk to other people. I just don't want the project to effectively be group work. Remember that one of the main goals of this course is to develop your independence as a programmer, and this is your chance to really demonstrate that and step up and engage with the difficult challenge. There are three parts to this project. There is the first part, which we'll be talking about a little bit in this video and in the next, uh, that's called rastering, and that's the display of tiles on the map. Then there is building the graph of all of the ob places, all the intersections, and potentially the locations if you're going to do the goal points. And then there's the third part, which is the routing of where you double click and you get a route. And then I guess there's part four, which is the goal points. So this project, we're not going to spell out how to do every little piece, especially the rastering part, which is the first half of the points. Uh, it's not that hard of a challenge, but it will take you a lot of time to figure out, kind of like maze generation for project two in the spring of 2018. So let's talk a little bit about how you get started. Uh, there are very detailed directions here, and so I'm not gonna do all of them, uh, but I am gonna point out a couple of things. So after you've done git pull skeleton master, you should in your project three directory have these files shown. Uh, whenever you go, the other really important thing though is you also need to update the library folder. So you should go into library spring 18 and then do git pull origin master. And then you will start downloading a bajillion files and I'm not gonna demonstrate it here, uh, but it's gonna take a really long time. And I mean, minutes probably. And then after that's done, so again, I'm not live demoing it, but after it's done, you should see the files, proj3 images. And so you should see a folder called proj3 images in your data folder, and there should also be a file called berkeley2018osm.xml. So if we look in proj3 images, we see a ton of .png files, and each of these are tiles that your program is going to ultimately use to construct the map. So for example, if we go to cxtemp3vid, library spring 18, data, proj3 images, we can see all of these images that are pictures of different parts of Berkeley. We'll be talking about what all of these Im images mean and what the file names are all about later, uh, but that's what you should see. Similarly, this file here, it is the map showing you all of the intersections and all the places, and uh, that is going to be something that we'll talk about much later. All right, so after you've done that and you have all these files, you can now set up your project. So I'm gonna step through it because I think there's some confusion with this project in particular. So I'm gonna do import project, so I'm gonna, because I have existing sources. And then in this case, I'm gonna do C, X, temp, P3, vid. And I want to go to project three. And then I'm gonna click okay. Now, usually it's create project from existing sources, but instead you're supposed to import project from external model and select Maven. So Maven is a tool that automates, in this case, the downloading of required libraries. So instead of having to manually download the libraries you need, this will automatically do so. You shouldn't need to change anything on this page, uh, but if we look at the directions, just to make sure, we see uh, import Maven projects automatically. Okay, so I wanna click that. And so there was something we needed to do. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nope, we just click next until we get to the end. Okay, next, project three. And now my program has begun. Or my <laughs> environment is now set up. Now your operating system may ask you, is it okay to download files using IntelliJ or Maven? Say yes, that's fine. Okay, so once you've done so, uh, if we go into main Java and we go to map server, this is the main piece of code that's gonna run and do all the hard work. Now all of this stuff in here, I mean, this is just a bunch of crazy stuff. It uses syntax we've never discussed in class. We've got, uh, this mysterious syntax. I'm not gonna talk about what that is and you don't need to know for this class, uh, but you're not gonna edit any of that code. Okay, so it's just there to do all the handoffs between the web browser and your code. Uh, and what's very interesting, as we'll see in a moment, is uh, how we can open up a web browser, open up a HTML page, and then see it show up uh, in our code. 
Now, I'm not going to do that yet, though, because I'm going to have to keep looking at the directions here. Okay. So we got to check and make sure that our folders are marked correctly. And it says uh, IntelliJ may not mark your correct folders correctly. So we're going to go to source main Java and make sure that it is marked properly. So if we go here, mark directory as sources, it is. OK, so that blue color means it's marked. How about static? OK, so static should be marked as a sources root. It is not. So I'll do mark directory as sources root. OK, uh, and now it's blue. Now, that may not actually have an effect. Kind of just depends on your system setup, uh, but that's what we expect. And then there will also be a source test Java directory. Not there yet, uh, but by the time you watch this, hopefully it's there. And you should make sure it's marked as a test sources. Okay. Now, there it is, green. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to make sure the course Java lib is, lib is not in my project structure. So if I go to libraries, I see all of these libraries. And you might say, where did these come from? Well, those came from Maven. So rather than having to manually set up all this stuff, our Maven setup earlier automatically did that for us. And we'll also see that we do not see the Java lib folders here. So we're good to go. OK. Uh, so then moving on, what we want to do next is build the project and run map server. So I'm going to run map server. And when I run it, a bunch of stuff appears. And we don't know what any of this actually means. Right? We don't actually care about all the details, but it's basically saying that this web server has now started up. So once you've started up your web server, you can open up in your browser. You can type in localhost 4567, matching what's in the spec, and hopefully this pops up. So this is the bare maps application before you implement any of what's called the back end. So we provide a front end, which is all these little buttons and this thing that says rastering and so forth. And what your code does is all of the supplying of information to the front end so that it behaves properly. And so even though you do not know JavaScript, probably, and maybe you specifically do, but most students in the class do not know JavaScript, you can still use this JavaScript code that we've written uh, to interact with your code. Okay, so basically what's happening right now is the mapping application is waiting desperately for your backend to produce something but it's not, and so it's going to wait forever. And in fact, if we look at all the comments that are being printed out in IntelliJ, all the all the print statements, it's saying since you haven't implemented Git Map Raster, nothing is displayed in your browser, and goes on to say that your rastering result is missing the render grid field. So no surprise. Okay, so that's getting started, uh, and I encourage you to do that whole process just to make sure that you're all set up. So in the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about how you can get started with rastering. But that's the initial setup and hopefully that was helpful.